friends, hope you are doing well. So today we are going to have class on unit 4, lesson 4 and 5. Uh, let me brief you that why I am not touching the lesson 3. The lesson 3 is actually about a poem and I am um, leaving it behind as lesson 4 and 5 have some similarities and they are categorized within a same uh, theme. So that's why we are going to discuss about sex pressure and morality show. Okay? Okay, starting with, uh, as you know, uh, seeing the noun fixed pressure, the concept that comes first at your mind that fixed means undetected. Lesson 4 is about fixed price shop. From this noun, we can sense that it's about a kind of shop where the prices of the goods are fixed and detected. So the definition is the prices for the goods are fixed in this kind of shops. So these are called fixed price shop. And on the other hand, morality shop. Morality shop means the prices for the good, uh, a kind of shop where uh, the prices for the good are, are written on a paper, but the shop doesn't have any shopkeeper. Okay? So, uh, from this two passage, we can uh, make a difference between the fixed price shop and morality shop. So, before starting the whole lecture, I would like to introduce you with uh, some of the new words. These are actually keywords. The keywords are, the first one is fixed price. Second one is morality. Third one is price tag. Fixed price means the detected price or the fixed cost. Morality means it's, it's of course abstract noun uh, that uh, another word for morality is tense. It's honesty. We can say also honesty. Price tag means a level that, detected, that detects the price. Consigned, of course, it's also uh, another abstract noun uh, that is your inner quality. Pay, pay means uh, to to fill the price or um, so we were on pay so paying means giving money bugging and haggle actually uh, these two words uh, have the similar meaning so bugging and haggle that means arguing for something okay uh, now going to the first passage that is uh, lesson 4 fixed price shop so I, I hope you all have your books with you. So, uh, so open your book and to go to the passage fixed price shop. I'm giving an overview of the whole uh, chapter that uh, what the passage is about. So uh, in the fixed price shop passage, in this passage actually the how the fixed price shop works and uh, what are the advantages and uh, disadvantages of uh, such kind of uh, shops are given in a fixed price shop we basically we basically see a shopkeeper and uh, the goods are actually detected with the same price uh, sorry not same um, a, a fixed value in this kind of shop so in a fixed price shop, the goods are detected with the fixed price. So whenever, uh, suppose you are going to buy a shirt or you are going to buy um, a good, then you have to meet the shopkeeper and you have to uh, ask the price of it. And sometimes you are bargaining. Sometimes you are uh, you are involving yourself in a haggle. That's why it's because the price is not going with your budget so the budget limit also matters in such kind of shop but if you are going uh, in a fixed price shop not uh, in any other ordinary shop then you will get the goods in a fixed price that means you don't need to involve yourself in any bargaining or any haggling okay and the second one is morality shop. Actually, uh, from this name, I hope you can sense that uh, this shop is something, uh, it's not like the other ordinary shops. 
in this kind of shops um, of course the prices are tagged with the with the uh, goods but there's no shopkeeper that means you uh, won't have to face any shopkeeper you don't need to ask for its price all the prices are given on a small piece of paper Just, uh, what you have to do you have to choose the thing and then you have to pay for it now a question may arise that uh, if there is no shopkeeper then what about the goods someone may steal it kyu hai to seta churi kore felte pare ei prashno obosshoi madhe aste pare ha there is a possibility of stealing but the name is actually of the morality shop uh, it's because actually it has a significance morality means honesty the shop is made for this this kind of shop is actually uh, to raise to raise the honesty in you the main target of such kind of shop is to uh, give you the inner uh, give you the inner eyes to see that your conscience is also basically important to decide what's good or what's bad for you this is i already told you that uh, uh, the conscience is another key word and this conscience is uh, actually related with morality shop in this kind of shop you don't need to bargain you don't need to haggle you just pick up a thing and just pay for it nothing else so what about the stealing yeah if someone tries to steal or if someone uh, if someone take is taking the thing without paying then what about it just ask your conscience whether it is good or bad conscience is totally the inner quality it's it's an inner sense that uh, actually you uh, that detects your mindset so such kind of morality is actually needed in our day to day life also whenever you are trying to do something back then your uh, that inner part that that conscience will stop you from doing this it will lead you that uh, no it's not good it's not uh, good for you don't go with it so the morality shop actually works on it so now what do you think uh, what kind of shop actually um, actually works in our society do you really prefer the fixed price shop or morality shop the main difference in between two kind of shop is that in a fixed price shop there the goods are actually detected with the fixed value but in a morality shop it's totally depend on your morality on your honesty Though the goods are there and a, le- a tag level is um, attached with the goods but actually none is here to ask you none is here to uh, stop you the only thing that will guide you is your conscience that means your inner quality that your inner honesty your truthfulness okay so following this two passages i have prepared some of the questions for you these are the some of the questions for you the first one is what is fixed price shop uh you have already known that what is a fixed price shop fixed price shop means the a uh, kind of shop where uh, the prices of the goods are already fixed what is the core advantage of it the core advantage of such kind of shop is that uh, if someone is not matching with the budget if uh, the price is not going with someone's budget limit then uh, he do- or she doesn't need to bargain she doesn't need or he doesn't need to argue just you have to pay with the fixed price you have to pay according to fixed value of the pr- of this product then the morality shop or uh, do you think morality shop just work do you really think if you think then why and if you don't think then why not okay the last one is the most important which one do you prefer more fixed price or morality shop uh you can write it in your own way but keep in mind that you will always have to give a logic behind your answer so i think uh, number 3 is do you think morality shop this work um, you can also you can also uh, 
alternate it with uh, saying the advantages of morality shop. So in this way you can solve these questions. Um, these questions will help you to answer uh, also to choose the best answer for closed questions. This uh, question answer session is all for today but actually we want to uh, I want to share the ideas that what do you really think that uh, do you really think that fixed price shop work or uh, morality shop works better. Now we are going through the text. We are uh, we are now only going through the text and reading its advantages and disadvantages. But what actually from your real life? What do, do you realize that uh, does actually uh, does really morality shop uh, work? Is it and तुम्हारे क्यों मने हैं जे कौन थोड़ा नेट शॉप आमदे जो ने शॉप चे विषय कार्यों को ली कौन कर इम्प्लीमेंटेशन शॉप चे विषय इफेक्टिव मोरलिटी शॉप और फिक्स्ड प्रेस शॉप so I have a uh, homework for you. I'm giving the task uh, you that uh, just go through two of the passages and there's already some of the tasks are given for you. Uh, section A, task number A to D. Both of the passages from both of the passages, task number A to D should be done and uh, I will check it out. Okay. So uh, we will have next discussion on lesson 6. So till then, take care.